T24 brings you a lifestyle show from people you know with Emily Irwin. Now, Central Valley Today. Well, hey there, and welcome back to Central Valley Today. I am so pleased to be here with a local author. This is Dave Crabiel on this National Book Lovers Day. Brought your property in Reedley. So thank you so much for inviting me out here. This is a gorgeous day and a lovely way to start the day. Well, thank you for asking. It's great to be with you. Okay, so you are an author. You wrote Through the Door, A Horn Player's Journey, and um, this was a self-published book. Right. And you were uh, nominated for the Writer's Digest Self-Publishing Book Award, which is really prestigious. <laughs> I, I hope so. <laughs> okay, so let's, first let's talk about, let's talk about the book. Okay. What's, the, what's the book about? It's about uh, a, a wonderful sort of well, it's, it's about all the opportunities I had in my life. I grew up here in Reedley, married my high school sweetheart, um, <laughs> started playing the French horn in high school, and uh, just fell in love with that, and it worked for me. Uh, I started college in, at Fresno State, uh, and that was the year, 1954, that uh, they f formed the Fresno Philharmonic. Oh. So I went right into the Fresno Philharmonic as a freshman in college. About my junior year, I, uh, my teacher, Jim Winter, thought it would be a good idea for me to transfer to Northwestern in Chicago to study with a famous teacher in uh, Chicago, a member of the of principal horn of the Chicago Symphony and a, an author too, Philip Farkas. So I went there as a, as a senior, and in the three months I found myself in, in the Chicago Symphony, uh, you know, going from here to the major leagues. Yes. All right, well, that, that's what the book's about. It's about uh, surviving the uh, anxiety and the pressure of performance at that level. Wow. Yeah. So uh, it's been a, a wonderful, um, well, the doors just opened. They just kept opening. Uh, after five years in Chicago, uh, I, I was co-principal, but I wanted to be principal. Okay. And uh, once again, the opportunities came up. Two wonderful jobs were open. Principal Horn in uh, Pittsburgh Symphony and Principal Horn in the Detroit Symphony. Uh -huh. I took both auditions and won both jobs. So I had to decide where to go. and. So I chose Detroit, and okay. we had a wonderful nine years in Detroit. Our kids were born there, and uh, and then this opportunity came in the San Francisco Symphony. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, grandparents here and relatives and friends, I, I just couldn't resist. I had to. I so was, it all was serendipitous, and it kind of worked out perfectly. Again, yeah, it just. All the way through, and so, so then I had a wonderful 25 years in San Francisco. Oh wow, 25 years! Mm -hmm. So you so you write about these journeys um, in your book through the door, and uh, you know the reviews are are good, and people seem to be receiving it really well. Mm. Is this your first book? Of course. Did you ever think you would write about your experience? Heavens no, uh, I'm dyslectic and I can't spell. Oh. And uh, so I... I can't spell you. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so a writer. Writing has always been a problem. But I found a wonderful person to help me, Ruth okay. Ann. And uh, she helped me put this book together, and I could dictate to her, and dictating's fine. And, yeah. Uh, and we had quite an adventure doing it. And, you know, the book's uh, really about uh, the adventures of doing what I did, all the practical jokes and all the... <laughs> camaraderie and backstage um, you know in a, in a or I, I imagine it's probably the same at a TV station or, or anywhere where you work but there's a sort of a, a background of stuff going oh, on yes. that, you yeah know. for sure the, you, yes you know <laughs> yeah so so this this was a self-published book um, and a, a, what was that process like how, how was it you know trying to get this thing published and trying to get it out in front of people well, I found a publicist, and I have several friends that uh, helped me, and we sold about 2,000 copies so oh, wow. far. And, you know, it's advertised in the journals, and the uh -huh. horn players, French horn players have a thing called the horn call, and it uh, goes out to a couple thousand 
horn players all over the world. Yeah. So you advertise in there, and people are curious. I wonder what, you know, and people have heard of me generally. Right, you know. right. Well, I mean, you've had a, a very storied career, and now, now you're an author, a, an award-winning author. So you're going to take this book to, or this book is going to be featured at the Writer's Digest Conference in 2022. Are you going to go? <laughs> well, if I win, I will. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right, so the, the book is called Through the Door. If people want to read your story, because you're right here in Reedley. I mean, you're a local author, and I, it's just, I love getting out and talking to people in the community and hearing their incredible stories. So if people want to read this book or get their hands on it, how can they do that? Amazon, easy, with Amazon, and barnesandnoble.com. Okay. All right, well, Dave, thank you so much for inviting me out here. I'm excited to read the book. I've read some snippets from it, but it's an incredible story and from right here in Reedley. I love it. Thank you so much for inviting me out here. Do you want to talk about the second book? There's a second book? Yeah. Okay, well, let's save that. Okay. And we'll come back to it. Dave, thank you so much. And stay right there because we have more Central Valley today when we come back. <laughs>